you got like a like a new fancy intro now, Abby. He's got like better walking really music good. than me. I, got, I had to play it when he walked into the TV station. You got, you got it right it. You're watching MPS Connections with AJ Hoffman. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2223 season of MPS Connections. This is your soon to be former host of MPS Connections, Brian Rutin, and we are excited to be bringing you a special episode. This is going to be a brief one where we are handing off the reins of MPS Connections to our brand new host, AJ Hoffman. And AJ, welcome to MPS Connections. We are glad to have you here. Thanks, Brian. It's good to be here. Yeah, and so as a district last year, what we really were trying to do is to meet our customers, you, our listeners, where you were, and try to bring you content in a different way. You may have noticed this year that we're changing up the communique just a little bit. There's a little bit more video, a little bit more content, and we've really um, enhanced and strengthened what our communication strategy is, and hence that's why AJ's here. For those of you that don't know AJ, he's going to be bringing a lot of experience to this podcast. He's actually a professional podcaster. He's not not a fake podcaster like I was last year getting our way through it. And so he's going to bring a lot of great things to you listeners this year. So the intent of this episode is just a couple of minutes to introduce you to AJ. And he's going to talk a little bit about his background. He's also going to talk a little bit about what the future of MPS Connections holds. So AJ, I'm kind of passing the torch on over to you. So why don't you tell the listeners a little bit about yourself? Sounds good. I, yeah, I'm a CMU graduate. Well, I also am a MPS product. Okay, so, what, what, what was your pathway through MPS? Uh, it was, oh boy, Longview back in the day when it was um, uh, in elementary school. Sure. Then my family moved across, across town, so it was Adams School the rest of the way, uh, the Northeast, then Midland High. And Adams, Adams, a Northeast Viking and a Midland High right. Chemic. And here's a shock, Abby, our producer. He's a Chippewa, too, because it seemed like every single guest we had last year was a Chippewa. And everyone, <laughs> yeah, I think you just need the drop in for the fire up chips out there. So maybe, AJ, you'll, you'll have people that are from a different school, but it seemed like everybody was a Chippewa out there. So, yeah, so MP, MPS product, Chippewa product. And you've been working with MPS now in kind of a different capacity for a while, right? Yeah, for the last two years, I've been at the help desk. I've been a, an IT technician. Mission. So I've been fixing all your Chromebooks and uh, kind of muddling my way through the software thing. Um, the other guys are, are much better at that than me. I think that's why that's why they got rid of me. <laughs> no, I'm just but you know, it's uh, yeah. So this position came up and I had to jump all over because it just I you know it, it sounds like way too much fun to to be doing a podcast and digital media creation and taking pictures and telling telling everybody's stories all around the district. Yeah, no doubt about it. And I think that was some of the best parts of the 21-22 campaign of MPS Connections. Yes. And, you know, we had some fun times with it. You know, we, we were learning as we went along the way, but we, we got to interview a lot of administrators. We got to interview some kids. We got to go out to some very, very unique venues. And um, it, it, was, it was fun. It was exciting. But I think even more than that, it was a stepping stone to where we are today, which is, you know, this enhanced... Um, communications presence that, that we're really going for here in NPS. So, AJ, it's, it's going to be a fun season for you. What do you got in store? Absolutely. I have all kinds of ideas. It's just a matter of having the time to get them all in and making sure everybody's schedules align. So I think yeah. that's going to be the toughest thing. That's why I've kind of been been told is that every everyone has such a busy schedule, but I'd like to get more teachers and more students in the studio and because they're a little less camera shy also. So, you know, we'll be uh, recording uh, doing a lot of video with this podcast. Yeah, that'll definitely be another dimension. You know, you're going to have some nervous guests. You know, right. the minute you turn the camera on, <laughs> it, people kind of stiffen up a little yeah. bit. But, you know, with your personality, you'll get loosened up a yeah. little bit. And like you said, kid, kids are kids are old hands at this. They, <laughs> they, they, they This doesn't bother them one bit. They're all going to be influencers when yeah. they graduate. No so, doubt about okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> so, Brian, I wanted to ask you a couple questions, you know, maybe some advice and stuff. But uh, Be careful with that. Right. <laughs> Run. Right? Yeah, for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was the original vision for FPS Connection? Yeah, as we kind of said at the beginning of this, we... we the true story behind MPS Connections, if anyone really wants to know, is um, behind the scenes when, when uh, some of our administrators would meet, I, I had been saying probably for about two or three years, MPS really needs a podcast. It's how I absorb all of my information when I'm out on my morning and evening runs. 
I'm listening to podcasts. That's how I want to hear the information. And finally, one day, you know, we all have a clause in our contract that says other duties is assigned. And the superintendent said, yep, that's a great idea. Guess what? You're going to be doing that. <laughs> I said, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, wait, wait a minute. I'm, I'm the finance guy. I'm the person that, that, you know, is working on spreadsheets. And that's not what we do. Because, no, you'll, you'll do a good job. Why don't you go ahead and put that together? <laughs> and so I remember that first meeting with Abby and, you know, and your mom who recently retired. And we sat down and went. Uh oh, um, we, we've been we've been given a directive, um, you know, putting it together. A whole intent was to be able to get information out to how people want to consume information now. Right. That's how I want to consume it. I'm not sure everyone in the world does, but it seems like there's a podcast for everything. If you want to listen to something about, um, you know, data in the world, there's a Freakonomics. If you're into the outdoors, there's all kinds of ones. If you're into sports, AJ, that's what you've been doing for a right. while as well, too, a sports podcast. And yep. people consume their information that way. You got 15 minutes on a treadmill, you can get 15 minutes about NPS, you might as well be listening to us, right? Absolutely. And that was the whole point of it. And sometimes we hit the mark, sometimes we were maybe a little bit off in it. And we saw, we watched, you know, some of the data on it and what was popular and what was not. And I think, Abby, the Help Wanted episode, uh, for some reason, that one was real hot. Um, and, you know, that kind of hit people that were looking for, you know, even that information that we really didn't even think about. That um, Getting that across in a podcast is a lot more powerful than just posting it on a website or putting it in the classifieds of the Midland Daily, right? So yeah. now, did you have a favorite episode or one that you were really looking forward to, and it, it just you knocked it out of, out of the park? Well, knocking it out of the park, you know, I don't think <laughs> I don't think an amateur like me even gets that classification. I was getting, I was trying not to hit fall foul balls out there at Tease a Tease a baseball tournament like our superintendent likes. Right. When I saw that in, in the prompts for this show, that was a tough one. So I'm I'm going to cheat. I'm not going to pick one, and I'm, I'm going to give you. Three, maybe four. Um, the first one, obviously, was the therapy dogs. Why? Because they're dogs. I mean, how can you have a bad time when there's puppies in here that are biting at people's ankles? And, you know, I won't tell on um, the poor therapy dog over at Central Park, but Nellie was a puppy and Nellie may have had an accident or two and thing. But, you know, hey, that was all part of it. So how can you have a bad time with dogs? But uh, the other ones, kids, it's kids, kids, kids. I think. The two that really stick out to me were the student leadership, where I got to go over to Midland High and Dow High, and we got to sit in their media center and talk with kids about student leadership. And you want to talk about really cool kids that, you know, you can just look at them and go, yep, you're going to be running some kind of corporation somehow, someday. You know, I was nervous about hosting it, and they're just looking at me like, hey, relax, dude. We got this. We, we know what we're doing. The building trades, that was cool. Um, robotics, that was cool. You know, the theme there is every time we got to talk to kids, it was great. On um, poor Abby, it's tough to take that equipment out on site, but those are the ones that I really enjoyed. And here, here's my cheap one. Abby tricked me into doing a special episode called March's Reading Month, and I was I was mad. Like, I, I, can't, I can do three of these a month. I got enough things going on. It was during build the budget time. But I really had a good time with that one. Why? Because we just got to relax and talk about our favorite books. Yeah. And, you know, it, it wasn't very scripted. It was just kind of an off the record. Let's talk about what everything is good about reading. And, and we did. And so, you know, that's not one. That was like five or six. But those are the ones that really st stood out for me. Nice, nice. Do you have, I, I know I asked it before and you said be careful, but yeah. do you have any advice for me? Are, are there any avenues that you didn't get to go down that you recommend maybe I, I should try, I should probably explore a little bit? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it again, kids, kids, kids. The, the more that you can get kids on this, the better off you're going to be. You know, we were very adult focused last year and, and some of it may have been a bit dry, but it was information we thought that people needed. It was still during the height of COVID. We know that people wanted to know about our COVID protocols. There were some where we brought, you know, it was fun to bring in our SROs, our school resource officers and talk to them. It's not kids and, and people want to talk to kids more and more. And as I said, those are the episodes that I had the most fun. Your your challenge is going to be scheduling because kids are busy. You know, yeah. kids here in Midland Public, man, they're just they're so darn involved, which is such a great, great blessing. You know, when we were talking to the student leadership kids, I had allocated a couple minutes for them to introduce themselves. Well, there was five in each of them. It took like 20 minutes because you say, hey, what are you involved in? And they start, well, in the morning, I'm in student council. And then from there, I go into NHS and then I'm in DECA and then I'm in this club and then I'm in that club. It's like, holy cow, they're involved. Um, and so, you know, to be able to get at them, you got to get out to the events where they're at. That's what we did with robotics. And I think that's going to be your your biggest challenge of the advice I give you. Go 
go interview kids. It was the best time we had. I, I think it was the best information that we could get out and um, go find them where they are. Cool. Um, trying to get them to come to you downtown, it's just not going to happen. And I think that's some of the barriers we ran into last year. Well, especially in Midland Public, where there is a lot of options Indeed. for kids to, to get involved in stuff. So, you got it. Yeah. You got it. Yep. So with that, um, we're we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up, and I think um, you know I'm not gonna say signing off forever. Um, maybe maybe AJ and Abby will have me back on again at some point. Although I doubt that a topic of interest will be the MPS audit. That would definitely go against some of the advice that I gave you. <laughs> Um, but at some point, maybe if you do a special episode, March's Reading Month, you can bring me back on and I'll sit down at the table and, and chat with that one again, because that was a fun one just to do. So um, listeners, I want to thank you for the 21-22 season of MPS Connections. AJ and Abby and Megan, our new communications um, dynamic trio, they're going to bring you lots of special stuff this year. So stay in, stay tuned. There'll be lots of great new episodes coming at you. And I hope that you enjoy a wonderful 22-23 MPS school year and MPS season of brand new Connections podcast. Thanks again, Brian. This is AJ Hoffman and Brian Bruton signing off. We hope you enjoyed this episode of MPS Connections. We release new content on the first and third Thursday of almost every month. Do you have an idea for a podcast or other content from the district? Send it to communications at midlandps.org. Thanks.